This, folks, is a moneymaker. What am I talking about? Let's jump into this together and I'll explain more. Let's go. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about this, which I cut out on my ortho laser. So what is it? Well, it's a plaque, a sign, whatever you want to call it, but it's also whatever you want it to be. So the other evening, I was out surfing YouTube, and I came across another laser channel, and they were doing some stuff with the Glowforge, which those that aren't familiar with it, the Glowforge is a 40-watt uh, CO2 infrared laser, has a pretty big cut area, and a pretty big price tag to go with it. Now, I think they were doing eighth or quarter inch plywood. I can't remember. So what the gentleman did was he went to Etsy and he purchased some SVG files to create something like this, where you have a top and a bottom, and then you put your own text in the middle. And I got thinking, hmm, is there not something that we could do with our desktop diode lasers that was similar? And I came up with this idea. This is actually cut out of cardboard and actually printed with an epoxy paint which makes it pretty solid which is very interesting so what I also did is I went to the interweb and I found some royalty free graphics which I modified and this is actually a corner so this is actually this corner that I've replicated four times now I have also removed some of the smaller pieces and edited this a little bit to make it more laser friendly and I'm going to talk a little bit more about laser friendly in a second however before we get there what I did is after editing the one corner I joined the two corners together and then flipped it over to create the top one now in the future I will be doing some Inkscape videos tutorials that is showing you how to do that but it, I wanted to kind of start with this so if you're familiar with Inkscape this is all going to be old hat with you now the text in the middle is just simply Times New Roman which creates solid characters like this and it's joined to the bottom and top and then what you do is uh, in Inkscape again select the whole thing and make it one unit and when you take it to the laser this is what you get so a couple uh, tips here for crafters out there uh, again I find this very interesting you can change this happiness to whatever you want to be love a family name what have you and again this is three millimeter cardboard and as you can see here and I painted the back too and again I used an epoxy paint um, it takes a little bit longer to dry but it actually makes it very very rigid so this this is actually tough to bend uh, and I think there's a couple of other things that you could probably do to reinforce this, if you will, and almost treat it like a light grade plywood. Now, you may be asking, well, Mr. DIY3DTech.com, this is great, but how do I extend its value? Well, again, I think there's a number of different applications of this. Now, the one on the laser channel, I believe it wasn't very clear, but I, I, the way I kind of took it is that you know he was putting some sort of uh, hole up here and you could hang it on the wall uh, this is approximately a foot square a little short of a foot square however out of cardboard you could do several different things I don't think it would be so attractive from the side if you did that but you could uh, and the other thing is remember your cost to create this will be almost free in that case you know the gentleman that uh, did it with the Baltic plywood or something like that you know he had to buy the plywood and, and you know that's you know not cheap and add that in and the time to cut it is pretty substantial this cuts out of cardboard pretty quickly and again if you're going to do this for a business I would suggest upgrading to the 20 watt input laser from the 15 to do this because you can get through it much quicker now the other piece if you're a crafter I'm sure you can come up with a thousand and one ideas this would be great in a shadow box set against uh, uh, framed against a uh, black piece of poster and again you can paint this whatever color I decided to paint this white I liked it because of the standoff for the video I was doing however I can think of tons of different ideas that this could be used for and again because the material side of it is so cheap uh, again, I think you can be very flexible in your application. You know, you could come up with a stand, you could stack, you could cut several of these out, stack them together like I've done in other videos to create an unusual effect. So again, Bob's your uncle when it comes to opportunities with these. But I wanted to share this with you guys because I see a ton 
of crafting opportunities economically with desktop diode lasers. Again, a lot of people think, oh, all they need to, can do is a grave and basic things, but you can actually cut quite a few things out, and I'll be doing more on this. But again, I, I really love the reuse of cardboard. I get a ton of stuff in the mail, you know, or delivery every day of the week. I hate wasting the cardboard. And again, I can put this to good use and as well as economic opportunity. Think of the craft shows and the things you could do at the craft shows. Again, happiness, love, you know, all kinds of sayings here that you could come up with. Uh, and again, you can sell it relatively cheap because basically you have no material cost. It's pretty green, save for the paint, and you could probably use environmentally friendly paint to do that up. But I like the epoxy because it firms it up. So anyways, I will have this file out in the design store, link below. Also, be checking out the design store in, in bookmark it in your browser. I will be posting more and more of my designs out there on that design store. And again, they're free. You don't have to pay for them. Um, but if you do happen to be browsing and something catches your attention, they are affiliate links, helps me out. And also, if you want to make a PayPal donation, hey, always happy to take those to kind of keep the channel going and everything else. But again, uh, free and I will also have other versions of this uh, as free so I've got a bunch of different formats I'm doing now one of the final things I want to talk about is cutting this out now these curly cues are a bit of a pain in the butt because I'm not sure if it's a lead in or lead out but it took me quite a bit of time to weed this so one of the things that I would give you a little bit of a heads up is play with the lead in lead out time uh, because one of the things I think it's kind of lead out when it finishes one of the curly cues the laser kind of cuts a few just kind of like microseconds before it's all the way cut through to the other side so some of the tighter curly cues I had to kind of snip a little bit with an exacto knife it wasn't really huge it popped out 90% of the way but you know I didn't want to leave that rough edge so I popped that out so I would play around with the settings I haven't got that completely dialed in yet so if you do have some suggestions for light burn in those settings please leave them in the comments below I'd appreciate them and with that swag shops up there subscribe over there big thumbs up if you like this and you can go to the craft show and make money let me know in the comments other ideas you might have or other things you might be looking for along this line and I'll see if I can oblige cheers Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.